everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the May Worlds of Wizardry box from Geek Gear. If you're interested in this subscription box, I'm going to go ahead and leave all the pricing details and other information you may want to know in the description box. I will also leave my code down there as well, and if you use it, you'll get 10% off any of their subscription plans, and you'll be entered into a prize drawing where you could potentially win a prize. So let's get into the box. Clearly they changed the packaging this month, which I'm really into, I guess because it's black and I'm into that. It also has Harry's glasses and scar all over the box. Still says the same thing, no muggles allowed, world of wizardry, but on the sides they added the Hogwarts house crest. They used to do this a while ago, but these crests are a lot cooler than those, I think. And I have all the houses. Still have the easy pull tab, thankfully, because that's convenient. But I'm really digging the new packaging geek gear. So, uh, yeah, finally, let's, you know, just get into this. Yeah. I'm a Slytherin. You can choose your house. And if there's any house-specific items in here, it's going to be Slytherin. Oh, I can already tell I'm going to love this shirt. It's so cool. Let's do the shirt because I like doing the shirt first. This shirt is the Flying Keys, and it's a light blue shade. That's cool. I'm gonna try not to say that's cool for everything. Let's come up with some new words, dummy. Let's do that, okay. But I really like this shirt. I don't have any flying key shirts. Nice. Next we have a mug, which I collect mugs, so I'm loving this. It's a Geek Gear exclusive. It kind of looks licensed. I've bought in mugs that have this similar packaging, you know? Yeah, licensed. It's a licensed product. That's cool, Geek Gear. I want to open it so I can get the full... How do I open this mug? I wonder if I could just like... Take... Yeah, okay, there we go. I like the design. Nice. I have so many mugs now. <laughs> oh, that... You know... <laughs> I bought one of these on Amazon, but these are a lot bigger than the frogs on Amazon. These are cool. I said cool again, didn't I? Oh. This is a there you go. This is a frog mold, so you can make chocolate frogs. And I have a tutorial on that on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to see how I made those. Mine's, mine's acrylic, I think, or plastic, not a silicone. I also made bath bombs. I have a tutorial on that if you wanna you know, watch that too. And you can make chocolate frog bath bombs. That was cool. That's so cool to include this though. Okay, I just said cool so many times. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's do, oh. They have one of these little bracelets says ambition, talent, cunning, triumph, and pure. It's a little Slytherin bracelet that I'm going to wear. Oh my gosh. This is so neat. It's a like a lunch tin sort of thing. I probably won't put lunch in it, but I'll put some knickknacks and whatnot. But I love the design. Look at that. Has a snitch, the quidditch, a stag, guys. I remember now. If you watched my last Geek Gear unboxing, I got confused with the doe and the stag, and people got pissed, but oh well. Yeah, Luna's glasses, that's nice. And then it has the Harry's glasses and scar all over the tin. Let's try to open it. Oh, that's a cool tin. That's really nice, man. I like this. Yeah. Cool. Solid. There goes the tin! Oh, God. It's okay. Nothing happened to it. It's fine. It survived the table fall. Stay. Next, we got, ooh, a notebook. 
Lindsay Slytherin notebook. Oh, cool. It has the, um, the theme here seems to be Harry's glasses and scar. And it's in green. Obviously, if you have a different house, it'd be a different color. And I really like how the pages are all, uh, the, the pages have all the crest on it. Well, you know, the Slytherin crest, not all of the crest. I just can't speak today, can't I? Nice. I love notebooks. I always use notebooks. I always need notebooks. Then we have the the May, the May magazine, which I'll look at later. And at the bottom here, we have a print. I love this. It's a print of Hogwarts. It's a Geek Gear exclusive. And they packaged it really nicely so it doesn't get bent at all. I have a wooden print of this on my wall. So, I don't know where I'm going to put this, maybe somewhere on my wall. Probably not near the one of the wooden one that I have. That's a nice print, though. So, let's look at the magazine. Which way? Okay. has the flying keys all over it, and again, Harry's glasses and scar. So, you got the... So, this shirt, you could have gotten a gray or a light blue. I got the light blue, which... Yeah, I think I prefer the light blue. Then you got the mug, which was licensed. That's cool. I don't really care so much about licensed items. Like, it's cool if it is, but I'm not too... I don't really care. As long as the item's cool, I'm fine with it not being licensed, if you know what I mean. Then we have the Hogwarts print. And the chocolate frog mold, or, you know, just the frog mold. You can make bath bombs out of them, like I said. That's really cool that they added that and unique, like, to get in a subscription box, you know? So anyone can make chocolate frogs. Because I have a chocolate frog mold, but I think my frogs are a lot smaller than these, so I'm excited to make some goodies with these. Then you have the lunch tin, which is cool. What else am I going to say? <laughs> oh, I really need to learn some new words. But I mean, everything's cool. What can I say? Then you have the notebook. And if you are in another house, that's what you... I like how they use bronze color instead of silver or gray like they usually do with Ravenclaw. Because it's bronze and blue, man. Then you have the bracelet, which I'm wearing now. And if you had a different house, you would add one of these. You can go and follow them on social media, and that's their staff. They'll be attending these. This is the hint for next month, the June box, and it's a lightning bolt. The all-famous lightning strike from the Chosen One. Don't miss out. So, I guess it has to do with uh, something with the lightning bolt, I guess. And if you... Take pictures with anything in the box and tag I Love Geek Gear, then, you know, you may be featured in one of these magazines. And this is the prizes I was talking about. If you use my code, you'll get entered into a drawing where you could win a prize. And, yeah, that's it. I pretty much like this. I think my favorite item is the tin. That's freaking cool. And probably, I mean, I don't know. I think I like everything. I think this is really neat that they included this though. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and thanks for watching.